so you can't really see them for what they really are. What do I rate this box out of five stars? Hmm, maybe 2.6 because of this non-contrasting ability that they thought up. But the red is a beautiful cherry red, makes me want to eat some cherries, be a good little vegetarian. And there's a nice little tape right here, you see the little bubble that popped up? Flawed. But I can't wait to open this and then see it for what it really is inside. Will this beat the other grips? We will never know yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on Shinobis? Cotton Ninja here, your fellow Shinobi brethren. And today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Satisfy Ultimate Gaming Grip. Now, I kept seeing a bunch of people talk about this particular grip, and I was just really curious how it felt myself, but I never got a chance to make it out to E3 to really get to see it. So, I ended up deciding to just go ahead and give in and order one. Uh, when they first came out, I believe they were somewhere around 40 bucks, but then I waited a few months, and what do you know, the price dropped down to $25, so right around the price range where it should be if you ask me but apparently this grip is extremely comfortable and it fits very well in, into your switch and feels really good and helps um, helps out with this extra the right side has a little bit of extra on it so that way when you're touching the nintendo switch uh, right joy joy con it feels more natural and comfortable when you're aiming and playing games like splatoon or anything that involves using the right camera so let's go ahead open this up unbox this and I'm going to go ahead and give you my review, first impressions and thoughts. So now that we've got that plastic tape cut and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and pull this open. See how this looks. What's going on inside here? It feels really, really lightweight. Yeah. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. All right, cool. So we got something here. It's, uh, I guess, asking you to register your product. Um, I'm not sure what type of warranty coverage and special offers they're really talking about giving you but i usually never register any of my products or anything unless it comes with something free or something extra that they're going to mail out to you that's pretty much the only way you'll catch me registering a product besides uh i'm not sure if this company has any other type of accessories or anything yet anyway so i don't see any benefit in really doing that unless you're planning on breaking this thing which doesn't look too bad, by the way. And it came, I believe, comes with five or four uh, different tips for your Nintendo Switch. So we'll definitely pop those open and take a look and see how those feel in comparison to the, the limited edition Smash Bros. ones that I have on there. We're definitely going to check these out. And this is the grip itself. I expected it to have rubber on the back or something, but... As you can see, that's just full plastic. I actually expected to have like rubber for the hands or something where it would feel really like comfortable. But then again, I don't know how comfortable this thing is yet because I haven't popped it onto the switch yet. But let's go ahead and do that. Is there anything else under this box? Nothing. No, that's just about it. Pretty run of the mill, simple, simple packaging design. Not the most exciting unboxing experience, but hey, you know, get to it, get what you get what you get. Let's go ahead and pop that on the switch, see how that feels. So pretty much this is a pretty interesting setup, um, I gotta say, and it does feel quite strange at first, but I can definitely see this getting extremely comfortable. Uh, how it works is you can't just pop the switch onto there because if that was the case, then obviously it would be able to easily just be able to pull off or fall off when you're holding it or say you're laying on the bed with the switch upside down and you're holding on to just the grip and not the switch itself it would be easy for the switch to fall on your face so they circumvented that by making you have to slide it in to this into into the side here let's see if i can do it one-handed let's see and it's got quite the grip oh great that's not this that's not the the uh the grip's fault that's actually my joy con the uh the plastic piece that holds it made it a little bit messed up i have another one on the way i ordered um a new metal one so it can't uh break and stuff but yeah let's go ahead and get this in there there you go definitely feels feels good um in the hands and i, I had both hands on here so i had the i had my right hand on here as well holding it and it feels good, but it feels weird at first. You're definitely going to feel a little bit awkward, but I'm going to play a game or two of like Splatoon or 
I don't know, something that involves like competitive shooting and we'll see how this really works out. So give me one second, I'll be back. All right, here we go, we're in Splatoon. As you can see, I got both my hands on here. And I'm gonna tell you guys how this feels in comparison to the Pro Controller. So let's just see, like. It definitely has a little bit of a benefit um, just starting out. This is the first match I've ever played, right, with this grip. And I gotta say, it does have a little bit of a benefit over top of the um, the original way of playing without the grip. Um, and I, I gotta say, I, I kind of feel like this definitely could help me aim a little bit better. I mean, I've already become very accustomed to being able to aim without the grip, so obviously I didn't really need it, but I'm curious how, how I would it would work out after um, maybe coming back and revisiting and maybe doing the update video or something with you guys in like a month or so after using the grip. For the most part though, it definitely feels like I definitely could see myself being able to aim better and it's not as uncomfortable to be having to switch in between uh, the controls. So like switching between the stick and the buttons obviously before felt a little bit, I don't know, I guess awkward? It felt awkward before definitely didn't feel like that's what you're supposed to be doing and then now it feels like much easier if you ask me got my ass handed to me just now but yeah so um i gotta say it does feel like it, i would have a little bit of an advantage after i warm up to this obviously but um for now as in as far as a comparison to the pro controller i gotta say it's got that same vibe that same feel to the pro controller and this could be a good alternative to those of you that don't want to spend $60 and those of you that play in handheld mode a lot. So I gotta say, like, with that being said, it's definitely worth it in my eyes. Um, I'm, I feel happy so far, but then again, this is only day one. I definitely still do feel like I'm able to um, aim a bit better, though. Like, easier without as much of a hassle. So um, hopefully that answers those questions for you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in just a second once I get out of this match. Not bad if I do say so myself. I didn't out I didn't outperform myself. This is again, this is the first time I am using this uh, this grip. But I will say that again, it feels great. I mean, first match in, doing pretty well. You don't see the, the controls didn't feel extremely awkward or uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form. And um. Out of a scale, 1 through 10, what would I give this compared to other grips? Um, I can't really compare it to other grips, to be honest with you guys, because I've only had this grip right here, which is just, they go on the outside of the Joy-Cons. And I've had a rubber grip for the Joy-Cons as well. And I got to say, those definitely do feel a little bit more comfortable because they make the Joy-Cons feel a bit bigger. But this definitely gives you that extra space you needed on the right side so one through ten and in comparison to other grips gotta say definitely 8.5 uh I, I probably could see it being much better if we had some sort of rubber fitting on the back right here which maybe would make it a bit more comfortable to grab on the hands and a little bit more resistant to sweat because uh, I'm not exactly the driest hand having player if you ask me uh, when I play something that's intense and really gets my hands sweating a bit as you can see i'm a little bit sweaty now you probably don't want to see that actually but hey it is what it is um so 8.5 maybe 8.7 um in comparison to other grips and i will say i have had the nintendo 3ds uh grip which is the uh, the one that came for the 3ds that like you could use to play with uh, the right stick it added like the ability to have a right stick on the original 3ds so i played with that grip and it felt pretty uncomfortable after long hours of playing uh, with this i could definitely see that this would not become uncomfortable over time i mean just holding it it feels pretty natural it feels awkward because you're not used to it at first but after really like getting into a game and playing a bit it's a one now you can kiss the ability to put your switch in your pocket goodbye if you have this grip that is not happening you have to bring it in a bag or a backpack and I mean, I don't know how many people actually carry their switches around in their pockets. I rarely do that myself, like rarely, very rarely. But um, yeah, I could definitely see this um, being the go to thing that I use instead of a pro controller whenever I'm in. I, I like playing handheld a lot more, so I could see this going 
to be a, um, a go-to device. And I don't know, if you guys want to check this grip out or get one for yourself, before, be sure to go down into the description below and click on the Amazon link. And um, yeah, with all that being said, let me know your thoughts on this. Did you enjoy my unboxing? Did I do a good job reviewing it? And is this something that you would like to see me do more on my channel? I've done reviews and unboxings before, but I have, uh, haven't done one in quite a few years, probably like four or five years. So this is going to probably be one of the very few ones that I do in the meantime, unless you guys tell me that you absolutely enjoyed it and you want to see me unbox some other stuff. So let me know. Um, again, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already. Um, this has been Con Ninja. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Peace.